bit of a tropical theme to our first Share Your Backyard tour. We will show you the pool. We will show you the tiki bar. Thank you for uh, inviting us to your backyard and for being our first Share Your Backyard tour uh, person. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. So you were telling me you're a travel agent and this is why this is your backyard, this whole tiki themed here. Yes, I'm somewhat of a beach bum and I decided if I can't live on the beach permanently, I'd try to bring it to myself. So I've done the best I could to bring Mexico to me. We're in the annual garden, and this is right at the beginning of the three-mile drive. Folks, if you've had a chance to come out here, it is such a pristine treasure here in Minnesota. This garden, every single year, has a different flavor. Welcome, Belinda. Absolutely. Welcome to Minnesota's greatest backyard. Dwayne Otto, who plans this entire garden, really wanted to hit the hot colors, and he did a great job. Well, there was three houses right in a row here that didn't, uh, you know, I don't know if it was because of the bicentennial or whatever, but we all of a sudden decided to have a party, and it's got together every year since and gotten bigger and bigger and better and better and better. How you guys all doing? Thank you so much for coming out. We have some photos of other years that you've done this because there's a great, great memories here. A lot of people coming out and coming back even if they move away. All the food's in the garage and it's a great time here in Bloomington where the kids are staying cool as we take a look at that shot again as those kids coming on down. Come on down, guys. Well, tell us about the purpose of this garden and what it has meant to the church and to the folks who uh, come by to this garden over the last 12 years. We have lots of activities that end up focusing in the courtyard, but it's also beneficial for those that work in it. Yes. We find it very peaceful and healing. And it's Wednesday night, so that means share your backyard. We are going to show you this gorgeous hosta glade that started out with one hosta 20 years ago. How many hostas do we have in this garden? Well, I have 118 varieties, but of course some of them, there's duplicates of some of them, so it's more than 118, but... Yeah, and Larry, you said the challenge is finding room for more, right? That's right. I don't know what we're going to do when these starts getting mature, because it's going to be a full garden. As I mentioned, I'm in Roseville, and I'm at a house where a couple of Swedes live. Putting your backyard on Facebook was important because you actually ended up doing more chores because we were coming. So gals, if you want something done in your yard, a honey-do list, go ahead and post it on Facebook and all of his buddies over there are laughing. We are out on Lake Minnetonka and we are at actually a very special place that is called Spirit Knob Point. Let me show you where I am. If you look off here to the north, this is Wyzetta Bay. So a lot of you have been in Wyzetta and in that neck of the woods and you've looked across the bay and you said, what is on that very, very very wooded point. Well, this is a historical part of Lake Minnetonka. It's actually a land that was, of course, for years and years, a place that was very spiritual to the Native Americans. In a beautiful backyard where we're really happy that the rain has stopped and it's nice and cool. We have a nice breeze and we have quite a gathering. How are y'all doing back there? These are neighbors and friends. Whenever you had an occasion, a new garden just seemed to pop up. Is that true? They do. You know, we've had confirmations, high school graduations, college graduations, weddings, birthday parties, anniversaries, and every year we go, hmm, we should make our garden a little bit. Before we go, though, we've got a lot of friends that have joined us. Friends, neighbors, the sisters are right here, grandchildren, everybody's come out for the Share Your Backyard.